Whenever you find yourself doubting if you can go on, just remember how far you've come. Remember everything you have faced, all the battles you have won, and all the fears you have overcome. That's a special writing about Corning lacrosse player Whitney Corby. After a near fatal car crash in December, take a special look back at Whitney's journey back to the game. I wake up every morning and I just lay there for a second. I see the sun. That's a gift. We're told that life is a gift, but one day it can all change. Corning's Whitney Corby loves her life. A standout lacrosse player, Whitney earned a scholarship to play at Albany. In December, her life changed forever. On the road Corby lives on, she was in a near fatal crash. After spitting on ice, her car collided with a tree. Whitney suffered a brain injury, bruised her lung, broke her collar and cheekbones, leaving the left side of her face paralyzed. Even worse, for a week, she was in a coma. They basically told us there was no hope. I never let my mind go to the fact that we wouldn't have her. And then when you see her with everything you know, coming out of her, you just start praying. Through prayers and hope, Whitney came back. Now, she must fight. God wanted it to happen and it happened. I don't feel sorry for myself. And she is one of these lucky stories and she was in that situation where it appeared as if it could be devastating and she could have no recovery. Rehab after rehab, the road back has been challenging. Little things like that you've already done, you have to relearn everything. It's frustrating doing like fifth grade math. I think the hardest thing for me was and is watching her struggle. If I could trade places with you, I would. Whitney's ultimate goal, play lacrosse again. In February, for the first time since the crash, she joined her team for an emotional return to the field. In just four months, Whitney's walking, gaining ground, and defying the odds. Like, if you want it bad enough, you can go get it. No one's stopping you but yourself, and so no one's going to stop me in this situation. She started on this journey, she's going to finish it. Um, she's just that determined. It's a leap of faith for us to take the credit for this. You know, it was really, she did it. And Whitney's gift showing us that in life, nothing is impossible. I'm breathing, and I'm going to go out and show people that if I can do it, you can do it. Well, thank you so much to the Corby family and to Whitney. I will wear your Live Strong bracelet every day. Keep fighting, keep believing, and remember, remember anything is possible, guys. Wow, so, such you know, determination. Gives me chills just thinking yeah, about it, it really right now. Yeah, it really does. Um, but also two quick things about this story. The support tremendous throughout the country. The women's lacrosse community sending cards throughout the entire country to her. Great stuff there. And also follow and donate to Whitney's uh, webpage, caringbridge.org. Search for Whitney Corby. She will beat this. She will come back strong.